Hello boys and girls, I'm Mrs. A and today I'm going to do a little video for you on how to do some ribbon dancing. I got some crepe paper for the parties uh, from the Dollar Tree. You could just use something simple like a really long sock. So I store my ribbons inside a little Ziploc bag just to keep them so they don't get ruined and I just fold them up gently. The socks, you can keep them in your sock drawer for now. I'm going to go over some concepts of dance, such as force, speed, direction, and levels. High, medium, and low. So the ribbon length that I like to use is about a little bit longer than arm's length. So when you move it around, it kind of flows. The first thing I'm going to show you are levels. So with your ribbons, uh, we're going to talk about the three levels. Can you guess what they are? high so raising your arms up high moving the ribbons up high okay and you can go side to side or you can go forward and backward okay the second level is medium so mid-level so by your waist okay and again you can go side to side or you can move them in front or you can move your hands together instead of separately okay at the middle level and low okay so low level down by your feet near the ground you can move your ribbons down near the floor the next one is direction so i can go sideways with my ribbons and i can even take a step or another way with my ribbons going the opposite direction right and left i can also go forward high or backwards with my ribbons this one i'm going to show you with the socks so i can use a different kind of force that means how hard or gently I can move my ribbons or socks around. These are clean, by the way. If I'm dancing to uh, a really hard beat, or if I'm feeling certain emotions like angry or very energetic, I'm going to move my ribbons or socks with a hard force. If I'm feeling in a happier kind of mood, or uh, a peaceful kind of mood. I might, or I'm hearing some light music uh, that, that sounds like spring type of music. I'm going to use my ribbons or socks in a gentle movement. I can move them both at the same time, or I can move them separately with my arms. So just doing it gently and expressing myself. And I can go from a low level to a medium level to a high level or a high level to a medium level to a low level, or from side to side. That's the great thing about dance. We can make those choices. You can create patterns. So patterns aren't just for math or in designs. They're in dance all the time. So I might do an AB pattern that goes A, B, A, B, or right, left, right, left. So I'm doing a medium force at a medium level or mid-level. I could do a different pattern. Okay, so I could go up, down, up, down, up, down. That's another AB pattern. Backward, forward, backward, forward, backward with my ribbons. There's different ways I can move my sock or ribbon. So I'll have one of each in each hand. I could make them flow like this. Okay, I can twirl them. Okay, I can go in a big circle in either direction. Okay, I can make them wave like this. I'm going to do a few movements and I'd like you to watch me first. And then I want you to think about what type of dance elements you're seeing. What kind of levels am I using? What kind of forces am I using? Is it a hard force, a soft force? Is it a high level movement? Is it a middle level movement? Or is it a low level? And direction, what direction am I going? Am I going side to side, left to right? Am I going forward, backwards or diagonal? Okay, and am I doing a pattern? So I want you to think about that. And then you'll get to try it too.
Did you see any patterns? I did some AB patterns. I did different directions. I did different levels, speeds, and forces. Okay, let's try it together. We're gonna cue up the music. Go! So now that you know some elements of dance, high, mid-level, and low, different directions, like side to side, forward, backwards, soft, gentle force, or you can do a hard force. You can move in a quick speed or a slow speed. And you can do a pattern. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. A, B, A, B. You can even hold your ribbons together for a neat effect or separately moving them, as I said before, with two hands in the same way or two hands doing two different things to make the effect. It's great also to use your emotions. If you're happy, what kind of movement? If you're sad, what kind of movement? And even little movements and big movements. So there's all sorts of wonderful dance elements that you can do. Now I hope that after watching this video you have some ideas and when your teacher or you pick a song that you'd like to dance to, you can try some of those elements and using all those different new strategies. Have fun! Talk to you soon!